keep it hello, hello, hello. nice and high in volume. Action. Hello, my dear audience. Just welcome to the East West Show, hosted by Jack Chow,、uh, with the GME TV. Ever since the shooting in Paris, the world has turned into a melting pot. Talking about what's happening, followed by events after events after events of.、Uh, Devastating happenings, shootings.、Uh, it is. It came to such a point that the world is, is worried. It's getting so worried that we are free. We are afraid where it might lead to us, lead us to. So today, I have my good friend, Mr. Ken Hamming, to come join me. In sharing his views about、uh, the Middle East situation, namely Turkish, Russia, and、uh, Syria. Syria, Assad,、mm-hmm. and the name, the list goes on and on. Yes, right. So see how we care about what's happening. If there is a solution, what is the solution? If there is no solution, what do we want? Do we want to do? Right. Okay, so, this looks like uh, we have uh, a more than a handful that we can handle. It is a troublesome world, and in the meantime, there is another environmental、uh, summit, environmental summit, the global warming summit, going on. So we're really surrounded by problems. So, Cam. As heavy as my heart is, I still welcome you to come to the show. Oh, and I'm honored to be here. And you know, I love your viewers so much. I wish they were all sitting here. Yeah, I do too. My audience is.、Uh, I know that you have done quite a bit of study, going back into history about that area. So, right. Lots of people trying to give a picture, overall picture of that area. I remember once my good friend Peter Choi. Uh, send me a picture describing how exactly the pot is. There's a boiling、mm-hmm. pot with all kinds of troubles, in which people see that everybody is everybody's enemy, and then underneath, everybody makes everybody a friend,、mm-hmm. and still they are fighting against each other endlessly and relentlessly. Right, endlessly. Right. Right. So. What is your reading about that area? Is that a normal area? Is it the area? Well, you know, it's hard. It's hard to view a really calm peace in the Middle East area, because even within a single country, there are factions that have often warred in、uh, each against each other in v- very violent ways. And and what I worry about is is when there gets to be such commitment on different factions within one country,、mm-hmm. how do you bring them together to a calm, peaceful coexistence? And I even worry about America now because our far left and and our our our, our conservatives are are not very friendly anymore. And that makes me very sad. That there are there are statements made, you know, within our own country that are、uh, rather warlike. Yeah. Course, Now we're we've got a great civilization, so we'll subject, stay calm. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's but, day, but but right. But over there, there's you know one thing that has,、uh, which is kind of sad, but one thing that's kept it. Sort of stable was when we had a lot of dictators over there,、mm-hmm. and a lot of because there then if they're if you're a dissident they just kill you so it keeps it stable okay so so now、uh, it's more open America pulled out I believe prematurely from our presence over there which has a stabilizing stabilizing uh, uh, impact if we're if we're there and and now each each particular group、uh, is is aggressively trying to. To expand their own agenda,、mm. and, and Syria is a very good example of that. Within that country,、mm. look, I feel sorry for everybody that's living in a situation that's really quite dangerous.、Yeah. All ages, all genders. What looks even more problematic is that you cannot even find a clear cut of who is who. 
Oh, yeah. Of, of, of right. who is doing for what. Right. 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 And everybody has his own agenda. Everybody has his own target. And sometimes targets are mixed. And Absolutely, they are right or now. Or even cross target. Right. And you know, that is the thing that if you want to get your hands on, you do not even know who you want to help, but who you do not want to help. Well, it's really humorous, almost ludicrous, that that sort of Russia and America are doing some cooperative efforts against ISIS, and, and yet Russia wants to keep uh, uh, Assad in power there. We do not. And so we have cooperation in one way and disagreement in another, and it's just that that just creates stress all the time. It's it's always a stressful situation, yeah, and somebody a, blows it. There is always a room for disagreement. Even disagreement between countries, even between major countries such as Russia, oh, such yeah. as the United States. Right? Um, we are okay with that. But the thing is that let's take Syria for example. Right? Mm -hmm. The government is their government. Am I right? By nature, is their government. It's their government, uh, uh, not elected, but by 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 Whatever. by, by, by however care. however it was accomplished. Yeah, you don't want to care right. about it, right? Because if you're talking about government that is not elected, there are many many of those. Yeah, there are. There are more than Syria, right? Right, more a than lot. Syrian government, right? So this morning I read an article written by a professor of Princeton University. Okay, and it says that the Middle East let it be the way it is. Right. So now, so the government was not elected. Okay, that's not a problem. The government is their government, at least is legit at this moment. Mm -hmm. Right. So now, and there is an anti-government. Sure. The anti-government are not one troop. They have mm -hmm. several. Right. Each from their own. Right. Ground. From their own uh, perspective. From their ground, right. Yeah. From, from their own perspective. Yeah. They want A or some want B, some want C. Right. right? Like that. And then this is joined by the terrorists. Which complicates it. Which complicates it even more. Yeah. Now you have ISIS came on top. All the three pots, three pots of jars. Yeah, I mean, right. Three jars of gems. Right. Kind of mixed together. Right. Kind of mixed together in a salad way. Not kind of a uh, well mixed way, in a salad mm -hmm. way. And then they are creating a situation. They all go number one against the government. Mm -hmm. Number two, each of their of them had their own goal. Uh, so you're correct. lost. Well, you're lost, and 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 what's making it very difficult is uh, uh, we, we have some countries have nuclear abilities, some do not. Mm -hmm. If we if we allow a safe haven like there is in, in uh, Syria right now mm -hmm. and, and uh, areas in that uh, uh, location where it's safe for ISIS to plan mm -hmm. uh, their, their terrorist activities, mm -hmm. if they have a nice place that they can be calm, have coffee and plan how to, mm -hmm. how to go to Paris or come to LA or something, mm -hmm. that's really, not a proper situation, so it's hard to stay hard to stay neutral uh, uh, on on their existence mm -hmm. because they have time on their side to plan and come do damage to us again, and uh, also then with the nuclear situation, if you know if everybody's got a nuclear weapon, the world will probably have a major problem. Lucky us so far, it's not everybody. It's only right. our ally, our, our ally. Israel has it among right. themselves. Right. right now, okay. With that situation as it is, with that situation as daily as daily tightened. Yes, sir. Turkey gets involved. Right. right? Okay. Number one question: What yeah, did that's... Turkey want? Who did does Turkey fight against? Right. And right. then Russian gets in. Mm -hmm. Russians get in, and then question is: Who Russian fights against? What does Russian want? Right. right. Yeah, so. yeah. Turkey's very confusing because uh, um, you know they just had supposedly you know shot down an air, a Russian airplane that was in their airspace, mm -hmm. and of course then Russia denies it was in their airspace, and they have tracking systems of airspace, and it looks mm -hmm. like they were in there. Mm -hmm. So you know denial is always one way of 
you know, postponing uh, 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 a confrontation. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, then, and then Erdogan, who's their, their leader, uh, uh, it's, it's, he's, he's a, a Muslim-oriented fellow that, that he succeeded somebody that was not. So their, their government is getting more, you know, Muslim-oriented, Islamic-oriented, and, and sometimes they'll cooperate with America and sometimes they're not. To make a long so, story short, though, yeah. whose story do you believe? Russian story or Turkish story? I think it's a great question, Jack. And and, Just and make I a do. Long story short. Yeah. Okay. I think I think that the Russian airplane was in Turkish airspace. For However, I'm seconds. not. Uh, you know what? If, if a burglar comes through my front door, my uh, my home for five seconds, mm -hmm. he's going to be gone. I know. I know. I know so I know. so I I, the, I think for it's the, for the penetration of one point three six, one point thirty six miles, and the other invasion one point. 15 miles in penetration. So well, you know, there was a Berlin Wall, and if you try to jump over that wall, you were shot by the East Germans. So so your point's you're great, right, you're right, you're right. And, and, and I don't know, right. I, there might be other ways instead of the, that violence of shooting them down. I'm talking about internationally, even the law is well, there. Say yeah. your territory is totally pr protected, right? You totally have the right pr to, to Protect to defend, it. To right. defend your sovereignty. Right. That's not a problem. Right. However, in, I mean, among the uh, international committee, do you have tolerances? Well, do you have compromises? Yeah, I see tolerance, I think, is a word that I, I, I would not apply to this because you, you really cannot tolerate uh, uh, invasion, so to speak. But, but compromise or other ways, maybe you send up four aircraft and you go after the Russian, uh -huh. but you don't okay. shoot them down and you guide them out okay, of now. the country. Okay, yeah, good, very good. Th that's a possibility. I appreciate, answer. I appreciate this very candid answer. Yeah. And the second candid part is that how come at the time of shooting you have your camera ready? Um, I'm, well, I'm not sure who had the camera. I don't know. Yeah, because but I've I seen the plane know. go down. I don't know. I, I don't, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Right. Exactly at the moment when the plane goes down. Right. Another incident when the tank was was being attacked. Right. No, no. When when the tank was being first, and then secondly followed mm -hmm. by with the helicopters. Uh -huh. When the helicopter was being uh, was being attacked. Yeah. And then the tanks are being attacked. They always have a camera there. Number one, whose camera? Well, in today's world, Who though, everybody's them? got a cell phone. Who called them? So you just, it could have been just one person taking a, a cell phone of it going, because you, you, I, mean, I mean, it's possible. I don't know who, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I won't right. say what I don't know. All right. Anyway, anyway, yeah. anyway. so uh, just to say, just to say, Yeah. And, and, and of course, there are questions, more questions remain to be answered. Right. Uh, remain to be asked right. and to be answered. Right? Yes, sir. My dear audience today, once again, we're talking about the Middle East situation. We are taking serious the core of the problems surrounding which you're talking about events after event after event yeah. with lots of occurrences that get us confused. And on top of that, we're worried. With my good friend, Mr. Ken Hamming, we're trying to peel the onion if we could. Yeah, right. I don't think that's uh, simply the onion. There are more onions to peel rather than one, right? So. Stay with us, please. We will be right back after this very short break. <laughs> right now.